Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Last week I made a video called, What Point is the Right Time to Draw Your Gun? I think that's a question a lot of guys struggle with because there are just so many situations that could arise. It, 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 it's hard to know when is the right time time and the answer is whenever you feel your life is in danger or in great bodily harm the video features Vincent Jackson he came to us with a wealth of knowledge he trains uh, police officers works for the sheriff's department is a correctional officer he has a lot of experience with this and, and did a great job explaining I got a lot of comments back mostly most very positive but many guys said if I have to pull my gun that's it I'm, I'm firing end of story and I've talked to guys in my own life who said you know what if I have to pull I'm firing I'm not even gonna think twice about it and I understand that mentality but there are also some things that we need to understand as well because we don't want to end up in court in a tough situation trying to explain why we did that first thing we need to understand is most of the time a gun is presented it's never fired and then if that's what happens and it ends the threat right here and the person leaves, backs off, retrieves, runs away, whatever the case, you don't need to pull the trigger. And, and you will have no problem justifying that you, you were in a tough situation and great bodily harm, you, you were fearful of your life, the person left, and you never had to pull the trigger because the threat was eliminated. That's the measurement there. Once the threat is eliminated, whether you fire or not, you, you, you need to eliminate that threat. The second thing is, if, if you pull the gun and fire and the person is leaving and you strike them in the back, you're going to have a hard time in court once again. Now, I'm not a lawyer, but I know one thing. If you're trying to explain that you were in great bodily harm as the person was leaving, that's a tough case. You're going to have some problems with that, I'm sure of it. The third thing is, it's always a good idea to, to blade yourself away if you have time and, and ready yourself to draw your firearm. Okay, now I understand that a lot of times it's, it's going to be a split second. Matter of fact, they, that's what we hear all the time is that you just have a split second. That's what makes this so difficult to talk about, but it's always good to explore. So sometimes you may have a little more, more time. You may, you may see a situation escalate. You can blade yourself away like this and put your hand on your gun. You may even draw your gun to ready yourself, but I'm still not firing. See, here I am. Now, now the es it escalates, I draw and I fire if I have to. I don't just fire as soon as I as soon as I draw the gun. Once your mind is made up to do that, you could be putting yourself into some danger. We have to explore all areas of this, not just a blanket statement saying, if I draw my gun, I'm firing, end of story, that's the way I'm rolling. I think that you could be in a tough situation if you have to explain why you did that before you even knew the threat was eliminated. So we, we just have to keep exploring this, guys. We have to keep keep moving on and uh, you know create situations and uh, come up with the best ways to handle it. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching, and you guys be safe.